Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn about the tab tables in SQL. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is temp tables in SQL. So, what exactly are temp tables in SQL? So, temp table is a temporary table so the term temporary is self-explanatory you know that every database in sql has tables right now let's say you created 10 tables in your database and you close your mysql workbench or you, you close your database and you restart it after a while and then you will have all your 10 tables intact in your database but temporary table is not like that it is something different which has its existence until the session of the database is running. Let's say you open the database now, you have the session of the database running, you created the 11th table as a temporary table and that particular 11th temporary table will be existing in the database only until the current database is running and active. Once you close it, once you turn it off, or once you restart it, the temporary 11th table that you created will die or it will be eliminated. So that is the meaning of temp table. Now let's see how we can create a temporary table. So the syntax is completely similar to the temporary or to the table what we usually create right it is similar to the table what we regularly create but the only catch is we will be using the keyword temporary create temporary table table name which is user defined name and inside that the parameters may be the employee id student id employee name student id name etc right so this is how we create the temporary table now let's quickly get back to the sql workbench and try to create a temporary table add some data into it and try to display a temporary table. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit Scale Up by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. Now we are back on the SQL workbench. And meanwhile, we are logging in. You might have a question, right? When you say that the temp table will be existing or running only until the the database is active then why create those temporary tables in the workbench right the sole purpose of using temporary tables is in a few cases the intermediate results of the data analytics process are important and you can have a quick reference on the intermediate results and you don't want them to be existing in your database in a permanent basis right for such scenarios you can use a temporary database now here on my workbench we have a simple code for creating a temporary table so i'll be creating the temporary table on the name of student and we have student id integer data type student name worker and uh, department and student id will be the primary key now let's use the database that is use simply learn database to get access and uh, we have the access now let's quickly see what and all tables we have using the show command show tables enter and we have two tables employee and employee table two but not student right now let's quickly execute this control enter and now let's use the insert command same like we inserted in the previous tables insert into table name student parameters id name department and values comma separated values student id name and department or group whatever he took in college right now let's execute this code control enter there you go the data has been successfully included now let's select staff from student that is view the contents in this particular table we have 
the values in this particular table and let's also see if we have that particular data included in the database or not let us show tables there you go it's not included in the database but it is active when you try to you know print the values in that particular table which is in the database it will show you but when you try to fetch that particular existence or the permanent existence of that particular table it will not be present and this particular table will be active only until the database is active now let's restart this particular workbench i'm closing it restarting it now if i run this i will not get it you can see the error the database right okay let's have the database selected and let's try to run the command there you go table simply learn db dot student does not exist right previously when you try to execute the table was giving us values now we have the error saying the table does not exist right that is how a temporary database runs now with that we have come to an end of this session on temp tables in sql if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the resources that we used maybe ppt or demo code then do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.